what's up you guys welcome back to the channel i wanted to let you guys know do not sleep on thumbtack do not whatever you do sleep on thumbtack if you are in need of a team of people who are pretty much ready to hit the ground running there are so many independent contractors on thumbtack right now soliciting their services and when i tell you i am officially impressed i am officially team thumbtack uh let me tell you yesterday i had my my first interview well they're about to get my whole life together let me just kind of start at the beginning right so i basically am getting someone to come and get me organized um, i have someone who's going to come and do a deep clean on my house i have someone who is going to help me with all of my front end on my all three businesses cleaning up all my emails getting my social media channels all in order doing everything from that point of view i've got somebody come, that's going to be i just met with her today on zoom that she's going to be handling all of my back of office um the, the, the small business government government contracting uh, the woman on small business certification all of that she's going to tidy me up on every one of my businesses i'm about to get every one of my businesses and llc's and i'm telling you the only thing i have not done from thumbtack is go to the gym and get a personal trainer they were local outside of that my my little team that i am going to need help from in order to go to the next level i just got off of thumbtack and so i just want to make sure that you guys that are looking for people to help you grow your business, do not sleep on Thumbtack. Like real talk, go to Thumbtack. Figure, first of all, here's the thing. Figure out exactly what it is you need first, right? You, you, you may not know what you need until you sit down, look at everything, take a breath, look at everything, see where your money is coming from. Start with that. Where is your revenue coming from? Okay, how can you get more revenue? Well, you can't get more revenue because you're bogged down doing all of this other shit, okay? You need to free that stuff up so you can focus on revenue. So when you look at your revenue and you look at what task it takes to do that, if anybody else can do them and you think that that would be a good thing, outsource it. But if you know that you are the one that needs to be doing those tasks in order to bring in revenue, then that's the thing that you hold on to. Then you make another list of things that don't necessarily have to do with the bringing in of the revenue. Maybe those are things that come about as a result of the revenue coming in. Keeping your books, reconciling your bank statements, um, you know, handling you know, customer service issues and things like that. Those things are things you need to put on a separate list. That is what you take to Thumbtack. Take that to Thumbtack. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on Thumbtack. And one, one thing that really impressed me today, actually, let me just tell you, it impressed me in both conversations. I interviewed, there were two pros on Thumbtacks that qualified for the project that I had in mind. Um, when I talked to Christine yesterday, she just gave me just, you know, confirmation that she knows the front end stuff, social media stuff, all of that stuff extremely well. She said, okay, here's a plan. This is what we should do. And she kind of took control of, of that whole piece. Today, when I met with Iman, she started telling me about some of her capabilities in the in the realm of helping organizations. Um, she helped a, a, a church or a school rather um, get out of a 10 year recurring contract and streamline their whole contract when it came to these printing vendors. The school was spending thousands and thousands of dollars. Anyway, she's done that. She's helped people get their government contracts and their WB, uh, their DBE certifications and things like that, along with a host of other administrative things. So what I decided to do is I'm going to hire both of them. Christine's going to be the front of house. Iman's going to be the back of house. I have three businesses, mind you. So it's three or four email accounts, three or four social media channels, three or four everything. Okay. So, but what also is going to be happening is the back end is getting ready. And here's why this is important. And you guys got to hear me really good. Okay. At the end of the year, there's going to be intention behind the woman on small, issuing woman on small business con contracts. Apparently, and this is what I got from her today. Apparently, the government contracts that were set aside for women on small businesses, these contracts haven't really been, I don't guess, given out, okay? So at the end of this fiscal year, the plan is to be more intentional. Now, uh, when I say intentional, I mean that I don't know, no one ever knows what's going on in the government from one day to the next, right? But what we do know, having gone through the training that Georgette Dilworth gave us at Notary Nerd University about government contracts is this, that they're gonna spend money and a percentage of everything they spend is put into the woman owned small business category just specifically for that. So if you are not a woman owned small business, you need to be one. Here's also what I learned this morning. You're gonna to have to have your last three to five years of finances together, okay? Because 
they're not going to just give out these contracts to people who don't have their financial house in order. So now is the time to get with a bookkeeper. Stop trying to do this shit yourself. Hire somebody that can get your stuff together, okay? Make sure all of your profit and loss statements are available for the last 12 months. Make sure your taxes have been filed properly for the last 12 months because, folks, here's the deal. The, the only two contracts, the only two certifications she said that they're actually focusing on right now, she said they dropped the disadvantage business something. But the two that they're focusing on is the woman-owned small business and the veteran-owned small business. So if you're a woman-owned small business or a veteran-owned small business, come the first of the year, the government contract, government's going to be looking for you to be able to partner with and do business with. You got to have your meeting minutes. You got to have your have your LLC paperwork. I mean, you've got to have your house completely in order. She's about to help me do all that. Okay. So when I tell you, do not sleep on Thumbtack because you guys, we all know what to do, but sometimes you need help in doing it. Everybody needs a little help. I have been very guilty in the past of not seeking out help. Okay. When I need it, I, I'll figure it out. I'll do it. And, and, and what happens, it happens is I get stressed out. I can do all of these things, but I can't do all of them good at the same time by the time that they need to be done. So when you come to that realization and you're ready to take it to the next level, that's when you go get help. What I'm telling you with this video is a lot of that help is on Thumbtack. And here's the thing, they're about to roll out something and I'm not an affiliate, I'm just impressed right now. They're about to roll out this Thumbtack Pro to where it gives you even more assurance of what, you know, I guess, you know, in, you know, if something happens or whatever, then you have like protection. But, you know, I, I haven't read through it, but I was, I signed up to be on the wait list just to, to learn more about it when, it when they do roll it out. But what they're doing is, especially in this post pandemic or current pandemic or whatever the hell we're in right now, they're creating a space. And I see why people aren't going to work. I see why people aren't going to work because they're going on places like Thumbtack. They're taking the skills that they've obtained from having worked at, in corporate America for the last five or 10 years. They're bringing it to people like myself, small business owners who are trying to grow their businesses, right? And it's a perfect connection. It's all being done because of the internet. It's crazy. But the point being is it's happening. So now you're getting all these suit. And when I tell you, when you talk to somebody and they tell you their background or whatever, you get a really good feeling on how well they gather what you're trying to get done, right? And it's really impressive to me that yesterday, Christine said, okay, here's the plan and here's how we're gonna attack this. Because she, she already knew what needed to be done. And so she didn't need me to drill it down. She just wanted to reiterate it to me so that I, I knew that she knew what I was thinking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was just like, so my point is don't sleep on Thumbtack. There are professionals out there. Um, everybody has their own process, but I like the way Thumbtack does it because there seems to be some sort of accountability. There's an incentive for the person not to do bad because they want to stay on Thumbtack, right? Um, I saw a couple of notaries on Thumbtack too. I'm not going to um, uh, lie. I saw a couple of notaries on there. There's a whole gamut of people on Thumbtack doing various and sundry different things. But my point to you guys is don't sleep on them, okay? Don't sleep on them because... Uh, if you're some, a, a self-employed individual like myself and you have a host of things to do and yes, they can get done over the next 18 months, but it would be better if they got done in the next 90 days, then you might need to outsource that. Start with Thumbtack. I know there's a couple of other places. I'm just giving this glowing personal recommendation right now because they have, their system has allowed for me to accomplish what I need to accomplish. And that's identify someone who already has the skills that I need so I don't have to give them or train them on those skills. Because again, time is precious, time is money. We don't get any more of it. So if I could get somebody that could just hit the ground running, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it. And we, and we, and I think found that today. So I'm really excited about it. Don't sleep on Thumbtack. Uh, remember what I told you for those of you guys who are interested in, if you've got several businesses like me, if I'm in agriculture, I'm in real estate, and I'm in the notary space. So what she was explaining to me about the end of the year, first of next year, how they're going to be looking around for opportunities or for uh, vendors to contract with in that woman-owned small business space, in that veteran-owned small business space. I knew that I needed to get my woman-owned small business certifications done on all three businesses. And I knew that I wasn't going to get them all done by myself. And, you know, I know exactly what to do. I can go to Sam.gov. I can do all of these different things. But now I've, I've identified someone who can take that on for me, right? Not only that, I got a high tunnel, a grant that I got on, from my, for my farm. I haven't been able to deal with that process because I've been so busy here at Notary Nerd. So lots of stuff going on. It's time to get everything in order. Thumbtack is about to help me get everything figured out and I just can't say enough about them. So I've got to get back in there and get to work. I just wanted to let you guys know about Thumbtack real quick and I will talk with y'all soon. Have a good one. Peace.